And I actually took a morning shower, which is always so refreshing and I feel just so fresh and clean the rest of the day. And today we have some fun things planned, including a DIY. We are going to be transforming this mug and adding some autumn flair. And I'm so excited to be partnering with Cricut to share this DIY. I absolutely love my Cricut. It's been such an amazing tool for me to create different gifts and customize different aspects of our home. So it's been so much fun and I'm excited to share this little easy DIY with you. I'll be taking you through step-by-step -step of the process. So hopefully you feel empowered to do the DIY as well. So Cheers to that, looking forward to it. And we just need to get some work done, some other things around here. I was also planning on cooking a butternut squash recipe today. I purchased two butternut squash from the grocery store yesterday, which I'll show you because they're so cute. It's such a beautiful vegetable. I think it's a vegetable or is it a fruit? We need to, we need to clarify this. Oh, okay, according to my quick brief Google search, it is a fruit. So now we know. But yeah, I had a recipe planned, but I'm just gonna make it tomorrow because my friend invited us over for chili. So we're gonna have a cozy friend chili night and then I'm vlogging tomorrow. So I'll make that with you then, but it's gonna be a good day and I'm excited to spend it with you all. Also, speaking of DIYs, Brandon and I worked on the wall moldings for my office the past two days and they're coming together. Maybe you can start to see the vision. We still have to caulk and paint, so we're just gonna add caulk to the inside and outside so they look more kind of, you know, permanent in the wall. And then I'm just gonna paint them all the current color of our wall, so just a nice white color. And then the bookshelves should be coming next week, I believe. I need to double check on that, but it's starting to come together. Also, let me show you the Cutie Pie Butternut Squash. Ta-da! They're just so adorable. My friend, she said it's just giving off major Veggie Tail vibes because they really do <laughs> look like little cartoon characters. They're so adorable. I also picked up some pomegranate, which, oh my goodness, I love pomegranate. So, yum, yum, yum. And then <laughs> earlier this morning after my shower, I was really hungry. So, I made this black bean soup because I just had all the ingredients for it and it sounded good. So, I had some black bean soup. I need to clean up and put that away, but that's kind of what's happening this morning. I was just trying to water my plants with my watering can, which I love by the way, but it wasn't coming out of the spigot. So I have water in here, but nothing was coming out. So I took it inside, tried to clean it out because I could see some gray stuff like coming, well, peeking through the top of the spigot. And when I was cleaning it out, a wasp came out and that's what I was thinking. I didn't think it would be true because it's such a small space, but I saw that gray stuff that they, you know, typically shows when you see a wasp's nest. So I was like, oh gosh, is there a wasp in there? And sure enough, there was. And I tried to clean it up as much as I could, but it's still not working. So I don't know if there's still a wasp in there or if there's just a lot of the nest stuff, but 
I don't know what to do. I just have water in it right now, so maybe that'll kind of clear it out. But if you have any hacks for <laughs> getting a, it's such a niche problem, but not sure how we're gonna fix this. And I say I did enough better, but the truth is I was weak and scared, afraid of the blame. Twenty nine years I've been the same. So hard to run from shame And I will not keep up the pace To fool myself, I don't need grace mm -hmm. Will you be there to catch my fall? Need to be sure you hear my call pretty full from the black bean soup but I just made a little veggie plate and I'll probably do some cheese and crackers as well and we have a little banana and peanut butter Kong for Palmer's snack Okay, I got some work done, got some food in my belly, so now I'm ready to get started on our craft. But first, let's make a little iced coffee. It is that time of day, and I feel like it should be a segment, coffee and craft time, because we're just always making different DIYs, and of course, we're always drinking coffee around here. So, let's get to it. I'm just doing a small cup of iced coffee today because once we finish our mug DIY, I kind of want to make a little cup of decaf coffee so that we can kind of see the mug in full effect in all its glory. So just going to have a little bit of iced coffee to accompany us as we make our little craft. Sneak peek, here's what we will be making today. This simple yet so beautiful mug with the pumpkin vinyl details. I love how this just gives some autumn flair and character to the mug. And best of all, it is super easy to make. Okay, here's our little craft station and an overview of all of our supplies. As you can see, it's quite minimal. And I personally have the Cricut Maker, which there are a variety of different Cricut products and machines, but I love the Cricut Maker because it is truly the ultimate smart cutting machine and you can cut over 300 different materials from delicate paper to leather and basewood and of course vinyl, which is what we will be using today. So I just have a roll of the white permanent premium vinyl and this is great for, you know, glassware so that it is able to be washed and it'll stay on nicely. I also have some transfer tape, which also comes in handy when you are transferring the vinyl to whatever project you're working on because it can kind of help everything stick together and make it more seamless. And then I also have my light grip map, which is used to place your vinyl on and feed it into the machine. And then I have my two mugs. So these are just the clear mugs that I'm gonna be using. I wanna do one pumpkin themed, and then I also wanna DIY one for my grandpa because today is actually his birthday. So I thought that would be a really sweet birthday idea. And the last material that you'll need isn't necessarily a tangible one, but it is the Cricut Design Space. And this is such an amazing resource and tool because you are able to digitally create different designs in the Design Center and you can access this on desktop or your mobile phone. So you can start creating from anywhere. So it's super convenient. So here are a few of my past Cricut designs, but today we will start a new project. Within my Cricut Maker, I also store some additional tools that are just really helpful as I begin cutting the vinyl and weaving and pressing it down before I start my project. So I love how the Cricut Maker has this little compartment in here where I can store all of my supplies. And oftentimes when I begin a project, I like to just pull out the ones I know I'm gonna use and put them in this convenient little nook right here. So it's all just ready to go for my convenience. Once I have my project idea, the first thing I like to do is hop into the design space and start 
putting together our design. And for this project, it is gonna be quite simple because we're keeping things minimal and very neutral. We're just using one color vinyl. And my vision is to add little pumpkins and just sprinkle them throughout the mug. I think that'll look really sweet. So I'm just going to look through the images that already live in the design space and see which one is my favorite and see which one I think will kind of fit the vision the best. And then we'll start piecing it together. And I think I'm gonna do one inch high, one inch wide about that spacing. But once we kind of walk through the space, we'll be able to piece things together more precisely. Okay, so in the design space, I'm going to click on images and then I'm gonna search for pumpkin. So as you can see, there are so many different options. Ooh, I really like that one. Sometimes I'll add a few into my project and then kind of see which one sticks out to me the most once I have them all side by side. So let's go ahead and do that. You can also upload your own images as well. So if you have your own design, you don't have to be limited to just what they have on their site. You can upload anything your heart delights. Here are my top four choices. It is definitely a tough decision. I think I'm leaning towards this one though. Ooh, I don't know. I kind of just like the plane as well. And this one would also be fun because you could really see like the coffee through the pumpkin. Okay, after pondering for a few minutes, I think I'm gonna go with this pumpkin because I think, again, it'll look really nice to have the white pumpkin and you can see the coffee through it since it has these open spaces. And another thing I love about the design center is that you can kind of tweak the sizing. So what I mean by that is of course you can size it as is, but you can lock and unlock the design as well. So for instance, I love this design, but I kind of like a little chubbier pumpkin. So I am just going to bring it in a little bit and make the height a little shorter. And now it's just how I envisioned. Once my Cricut is on, it's time to load the mat. So you're gonna press this blinking arrow and it's gonna just make sure everything is in place, ready to go. And as you can see, now we have this cute little Cricut button blinking. So all I have to do is press that and it'll start cutting my design. Now you just get to wait and watch it do its magic. Now that our design is finished, we are going to unload the mat and start weeding and peeling, which is one of the most satisfying parts. So I'm taking my little scraper squeegee and just pressing the design down. So that way, once I start peeling things off, the parts that I want to stay will be nice and secure. And now I'm going to start peeling the excess vinyl off. First design down, a few more to go. So now I'm gonna take some transfer tape, which is a super helpful tool to just kind of make sure your designs go on your item seamlessly. So I'm going to take the transfer tape and a little design and add them together and then transfer it to our mug. And before I transfer it, I like to rub whatever item I'm working with with some alcohol and a cotton ball just to make sure it doesn't have any dust or dirt. Gently peel the transfer tape back 
And ta-da! There we have it. We have one pumpkin down. Now I'm just going to repeat these steps and disperse the pumpkins all throughout my mug. Okay, here is the finished product. It is so cute. It's a little hard to see the pumpkins right now because I don't have coffee in it, but let's go make some coffee. I'm gonna make some decaf and then you'll be able to see the pumpkins shine. And it really was so simple. I'll have all of the supplies I used for this DIY in the description and you can use my code Allison10 which will give you 10% off and free shipping on all Cricut machines on Cricut.com through December 31st. And now I'm gonna work on my grandpa's birthday mug. for my grandpa super cute just kept it simple just did a nice font said teapot and did a little sunshine for my grandpa I plan to just um, also get him some nice coffee beans and a few other goodies but I always like a customized gift I feel like it just always feels more meaningful gonna kind of tame it a bit and add some curls probably so I'm gonna do that now I did want to give a shout out to my new shampoo and conditioner it's this uh, day shampoo and conditioner it's super cute smells amazing and it's made my hair super soft I have a kind of more frizzy hair texture so it still is frizzy but you know it's just super super soft and when I use the heat tools it really just um, reacts nicely I don't know I've only used it a couple times last night was my second time washing with the shampoo and conditioner but so far I really like it sometimes I feel like my hair just really likes a new product the first few months but then it kind of just falls into the same texture as it did before but it definitely feels more moisturized than it was feeling with the shampoo I was using in the past so so far so good today I'm so thankful I'm feeling more energized and refreshed yesterday I was just in such a funk during the first half of the day especially I feel like I can just fall into a lot of negative self-talk and just negative thoughts not even towards like I mean, obviously the world is crazy and, you know, can get to me sometimes, but just like mainly I'm mean to myself, which is something I'm working on, but I feel like I'll just overthink so many interactions and I'll just kind of second guess who I am. So that's just been something I've been focusing on and trying to, you know, have some character development, character growth in that aspect because... I feel like for most of my life, I've been such a people pleaser and always just wanting to make people feel warm and loved and everything, which is great. But like sometimes I overanalyze too much and like put too much pressure on myself. So yeah, I don't know why I just like poured all that out on you, but basically that's just something I'm focusing on now. And yesterday was kind of a good reminder that I have a lot of growth still that needs to happen but you know we're a work in progress every day we can work on what we want to improve on so yeah that's what's on my mind Brandon just got home from the gym he's walking upstairs right now he's gonna take a shower but I'll check in with you guys later Hi. welcome home okay we're about to leave for dinner but I wanted to share a couple things that came in recently so this came in a couple days ago but I feel like a lot of you will love it so this is the Puffin in, Bo in Bloom collection and last week we went to the library which was wonderful but I realized I should really just invest in some of my favorite classics since I love them and you know sometimes the library doesn't have them. So I purchased this which the main reason I purchased it was for Little Women and Anne of Green Gables 
and it is the most beautiful art. I mean, look at that, so stunning. And it also has a little princess, which I've never read, and Heidi. So lots of great classics, but again, I really was sold with Little Women and Anne of Green Gables. Also, how beautiful is this? So on the back of Little Women, it says, life and love are very precious when both are in full bloom. Wow, 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 so inspiring. Let's see what the back of Anne of Green Gables says. Oh, this says, looking forward to things is half the pleasure of them. That is so beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. So excited about that and we'll be able to put those on display on our bookshelves when they come in. And then the next package came in this afternoon and I know exactly what it is. I ordered a new tea kettle for on top of our stove for when I make coffee because the one we currently have is two cups, which is, which is, you know, typically I'm making two cups, but the problem is it's, you know, right at the tippity top. So whenever the water starts to boil, it always, not always, but pretty much it starts to spill out of the kettle. So I ordered a bigger kettle. It was just getting quite annoying because sometimes I'll just make one cup of coffee. So that little one is great and very efficient. But if I'm making multiple cups of coffee, it is just not practical, especially when I have people over and I wanna make like four or six cups, I'm kind of at a loss. So I ordered a new kettle. Brandon's gonna be very excited. It's like his pet peeve when it overflows because it goes all throughout. It like floods our stovetop. So yes, we're all gonna be happy about this. I ordered another gooseneck one because that's really good for pour over coffee. Also French press because it just kind of pours out more steady and slowly. So that is what I picked out. Let's see. The grand reveal. Ooh, it has a thermometer on the top. Fancy, fancy. Ta-da! She's cute. I like it. Perfect. Oh yeah, the thermometer. How interesting. Cool. Good stuff. So good. We are back home from dinner with our friends. It was so fun, delicious. We got to have some baby snuggles. Now we're back with our little baby, but thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I cannot wait to see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, Pommy. Bye.